Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. Every now and then, we get sweet cravings. If we're honest, we'll admit that everything sweet quickly wins the war our taste buds are having with our brain, and the sweet intervention of candy is needed. Whether it's in the form of chocolate or one of the hundreds of fruity candies, there is plenty to choose from to make your mouth perform somersaults in your head. But there are some facts you really need to know about sweets. Let's look at 10 sweet facts about your favorite candy. Number 10. The amount of M&Ms produced in a year. M&Ms are produced by the Mars Wrigley Confectionery Division of Mars Incorporated. They have filled colors and sweetness in the lives of many people across the globe for many years. M&Ms were first produced in 1947, so that makes the candy over 77 years old. The original candies used to contain milk chocolate. They were very popular and did very well for the longest of time. But then the company grew, and along the way, introduced other types of M&Ms, the most popular being the peanut-filled variety. Other flavors include almond, peanut butter, pretzel, and crunchy. It is estimated that Mars produces an astonishing amount of 400 million M&Ms a day, with the U.S. production based in New Jersey and Tennessee. If we do some calculations, we find that the production goes up to 2 billion M&Ms per week, which means that if Mars produces candies all year round, they'd be producing 104 billion M&Ms per year. That's a lot of candies, isn't it? An employee of the plant would definitely have a lot to boast about at the dinner table after a hard day's work. Number 9. The Origin of the Mike and Ike Name Since its inception, Mike and Ike has been available in many flavors all around the world, and the world is all the more grateful for it. The candy originated in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania in 1940, and was available only in lemon, lime, cherry, and orange flavors at that time. But that wouldn't set the tone for where the company would go, ultimately offering a plethora of amazing flavors. The candy's original name and its origins are actually still argued over to date, with a number of possible theories. Some believe that the candy was named after the old comic strip Mike and Ike, two brothers who looked similar. Some claim that they were named after the Matina brothers, that were dwarf performers and were extremely popular during that time and actually played munchkins in The Wizard of Oz. And finally, some people believe that the candy was named after the vaudeville song that had exactly the same name. But no one seems to know the exact origin of the name. Name origins aside, the company has released many different flavors throughout the years. Number 8. The M&M's Candy Surface Serves a Purpose The M&M's slogan, Melts in Your Mouth, Not in Your Hands, actually comes from the company's origin. The whole idea behind covering the milk chocolate in candy is so that the chocolate doesn't melt in the hands. This was inspired by a military practice. When soldiers would carry chocolate with them to warm climates, they'd cover the chocolate with candy shells to prevent it from melting. Candies and chocolates were actually believed to inspire happiness and reduce battle depression among soldiers during times of unrest, so protecting that candy was definitely a priority. M&M's decided to apply this idea when they started the production of their colorful sweet product that we enjoy to date. It was genius, as they could be enjoyed both on warm days and cold. Number 7. Skittles originated in Britain Yes, that's true! Skittles were made first time by a company operating out of Great Britain, and they're actually a lot younger than you think, especially when compared to a lot of other candies out there. Skittles were invented in 1974, and they didn't migrate to North America until 1979, which makes this particularly popular candy only about 40 years old. Skittles ended up being more consumed in America than it ever did in the place where it originated, but then again, North America consumes many delicious products at a faster pace than the rest of the world. Skittles is now part of the candy-producing conglomerate the Wrigley Company, which is of course a division of Mars Incorporated. While there's no chocolate at all in Skittles, the candy does have some pretty outrageous flavors. Of course, the pretty red packaging is the most popular and probably always will be, but their other flavor combinations such as tropical, sour, wild berry, and even sweet heat do well out there. No matter what kind of sweet tooth you have, Skittles has a flavor for you. Number 6. Saltwater Taffy So the Jersey Shore isn't only known for giving us the likes of Snooky, Wow, and Mike the Situation Sorrentino. As it turns out, one of North America's favorite treats originated from the same place. Originally, it was formulated and founded in the areas of New Jersey Shore, Atlantic City, and other parts of New Jersey. The saltwater taffy is extremely popular because of its difficulty to chew and because the mix of its sweet and salty flavor just fits right. It doesn't have an overpowering sweet flavor but just the right amount. Its etymology goes way back to the 19th century. People have been enjoying the flavors of this candy for a very long time indeed. The name is actually a misnomer as the recipe doesn't contain any salt water. As it turns out, in the latter part of the 19th century, a massive storm hit the area where taffy was produced and stored, specifically in the Atlantic City boardwalk, and the area was completely underwater. Shortly after, a patron showed up and asked for some candy. The owner joked that all that was left after the storm was salt water taffy. He said that in reference to the ocean water that had flooded his shop. That joke transcended time and people are still using the reference he made in frustration of his flooded shop, with the taffy forever known as the saltwater taffy. Number 5. 
Gobstoppers and Laffy Taffy. Authors of fiction sometimes write something that actually turns out to be true at some later date. Legend says that the author Jules Verne wrote about many items that were not in existence yet, like remote-controlled devices, certain types of weapons, and much more. Such was the case with this candy brand. Roald Dahl, the former pilot-turned-novelist, hailed from Wales and he wrote some of the most successful novels like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The Fantastic Mr. Fox, Matilda, and many more. Like many of Roald Dahl's novels, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was turned into a super-hit film, but it would not have come to fruition if it was not for the Quaker Oats Company. Interestingly, the company actually helped to finance the film and planned a candy launch at the same time, hoping that the film would provide ample attention for the branding of their candy. It was called Willy Wonka Candy Company. It did really well and became popular among children. So we have to thank Roald Dahl for candies like Nerds, Runts, Gobstoppers, Fun Dip, and Sweet Tarts. Number 4. Candy Corn Can Last a Really Long Time When you think of Halloween, the first thought that comes after ghosts is of the associated treats and one particular famous treat, candy corn. This one actually looks like a kernel, with a pop of orange and white color, with flavor that is memorable enough to make you crave it all year round. As it turns out though, getting your hands on this candy all year round may be a wee bit difficult. But don't worry, you can enjoy candy corn later on as well, as it can last three to six months after a bag of it has been opened. If it stays sealed, you're good until the end of the summer, which will safely bring you back to the Halloween season, where you can, once again, get this candy easily at the store. Just remember to store it in a cool, dry place, away from direct sunlight, and you're good to go. A candy that needs to be stored away from direct sunlight sounds like a perfect candy for Halloween, doesn't it? Number 3. A Twix spread actually exists! For having this privilege, you'll have to travel land and sea, if you happen to dwell in North America, as it is only available in the United Kingdom. Sorry folks, but it is true. The Twix company has actually developed a spread out of this candy, and many have compared it to Nutella. The spread has some caramel and chunks of biscuits thrown in. Now imagine that spread across your toast or croissant. Doesn't it sound heavenly? Number 2. Dot's gumdrops are gluten-free. Many people around the world are allergic or even intolerant to gluten, which means the poor people have to stay away from all the yummy products containing it. The diet and fitness industry has jumped into this bandwagon and says that a gluten-free diet is a great way to shed those unwanted pounds as well. Many people are incorporating gluten-free diets in their lifestyle to stay in shape. The great news is that they don't have to give up on some candy in the process, as the Dots gumdrops are actually gluten-free and also vegan. Isn't this a complete package? Number 1. The Three Musketeers Bar the Three Musketeers bar was introduced by Mars back in 1932 and had only three ingredients in it originally, hence the name. The bar contained vanilla, nougat, and strawberry. As it turned out, strawberry and vanilla were very expensive to use during the Second World War, and thus the company stopped using the other two ingredients. But the name stuck with it, and for all these years, the nougat was enough for many of the customers to satisfy their sweet cravings for the bar. However, on their 75th anniversary, the company launched the other flavors of the bar, with vanilla and strawberry having a festive return. That's all for this video! What's your favorite candy out of all the ones mentioned? How did you like these facts about them? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe!